Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I know my last video was about the glories that is the James Webb Space Telescope. That video is here in case you haven't seen it yet. And I'm working on another video right now, but NASA's Hubble Telescope found something pretty cool last week. And so I wanted to make a little bite-sized science video about it. And I also wanted to test out this new microphone that I got to match my new chair. So yeah. Let's see how it goes. And basically the headline is, NASA's Hubble telescope has discovered the largest icy comet nucleus ever found. And what is an icy comet nucleus, you ask? Well, the comet nucleus is basically the solid central part of a comet. I did a video a little while back where I talk about the difference between meteors, meteorites, asteroids, and comets. And the definition of a comet from that video was a piece of rock and ice that originates from outside our solar system. So there's the solid nucleus of rock and ice. And then, as we know from having seen images of comets, there's this gas and dust that envelops that nucleus. And that gas and dust is called a coma. So this comet with its massive nucleus and even more supermassive coma is called C-2014 UN271. And it has a diameter that is 85 miles across and it is about 50 times larger than typical comets. So it's about the size of Connecticut. A little more on length, a little less on width. Its mass is 500 trillion tons. And that is 100,000 times greater than the average comet. And just for a little comparison, NASA released this great little graphic. Now on the left here, you can see some normal size comets. Our friend Halley's Comet coming in at about seven miles across. hale Bop, if you remember this guy from the 90s at about 46 miles across. And then this one, C-2002 VQ94, was the previous record holder for the biggest comet at 60 miles wide. And then here comes C-2014 UN271 at 85 miles wide. And you can see really why this discovery is such a big deal. Now, this comet was originally spotted back in 2010, but no one had any idea how big it really was. And the challenge was to detect its center from the dusty coma enveloping it, which is no mean feat considering it's about 2 billion miles away from the sun. So Hubble took a series of photos in January 2022, and they basically had to make a computer model of it and then remove the coma within the model to determine the nucleus's size, which they estimated from its brightness. And this comet is actually heading towards our solar system at 22,000 miles per hour. It's actually falling at a perpendicular plane to our solar system. But don't worry, it won't get any closer than roughly 1 billion miles away from the sun. So basically where Saturn is. <sighs> Sorry, Saturn. So comet the size of Connecticut, confirmed. And if anything, this only reinforces my enthusiasm for what the James Webb Space Telescope could discover if Hubble is still making discoveries like this 30 years after she launched. <laughs> she, after she launched, ugh, she. Are all space telescopes girls? Hmm, <laughs> a girl named James, sequel to a boy named Sue. All right, guys, that's it for now. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know in the comments below what you think. Are all space telescopes female? I, I think it comes from, you know, all ships being female. So in my brain, all ships, even in space, or all things in space are also female, maybe. Yeah, maybe. I could live with that.